Following this influencer in the last bull run literally made people millions of dollars. Some of his calls I also followed and made a ton of money and I'm sure you're going to want to know who this guy is and what his calls are coming up. Now, he is a big name in the cryptocurrency space and I'm sure at least 50% of you guys have heard of him, but today we are talking about Alex Becker. And on top of talking about him and his most recent investments, we are talking about my gaming cryptocurrency portfolio, which I believe is going to do incredibly well. I've been building it here live on this channel and the gains have been astronomical. In percentage, it has been way better than our other test where we're testing out cryptocurrencies that have huge communities behind them. Who knows what's going to happen next, but a lot of these cryptos in the gaming portfolio are a lot smaller market caps so they can run you know 5x to over 100x 200x and don't worry we will be revisiting all of these coins and I will be showing you three new cryptos that Alex Becker has his eye on if not has already invested into so if you do like that sort of thing do me a favor and just all I ask in return is you smash that like button that's gonna help me get this video out to more people and if you are new to my channel and you like to stay up to date with the cryptocurrency markets, smash that subscribe. And of course, this is super degen stuff. So I do not know what is going to happen. Any money that I put into this portfolio, I am okay with going to absolute zero. So never follow me directly. Always go out and do your own research. So if we do look at the profile here, Alex Becker, six months ago was the video he posted. Then now in the last 12 days, he's posted two videos. This right here is a potential signal that we are now back in a bull run. One of the ways we can see this, there's two ways that I have my finger on the pulse on. One is my own personal views. The views are up, which means there are more new retail investors in this space. Number two, which is kind of like a derivative of that indicator, it's influencers coming back into the space. With that said, if you appreciate the fact that I've been making videos every single day, even though the market has been super boring over the last year and a half, do smash that like button and hit the subscribe if you are new here. I am not re-entering this market now that the bull market is back on. I have been here the whole time. So if you like that sort of thing, do smash the like button. I would really appreciate it. Now, he has been making videos recently talking about gaming cryptos. As you know, here on the channel, we believe that gaming cryptos are going to be doing very well. Just recently, he did name a cryptocurrency that I spoke about here on the channel a couple of weeks ago called Miria. I also made a video about these guys over six months ago. It may have even been a year ago explaining how we can set up a node for them. I personally have a node for Miria and it has already made me close to $2,000. We will be going through that, not the node setup, but my position in that in a second. But Miria is one of the tokens that just 20 hours ago, he clearly is liking. This probably means he's buying it. He says, I've also joined of Miria as an advisor. As a game layer two, I would think it could park as one of the highest market cap coins and a top layer of gaming. All right, so that's pretty big news. Let's head over here. Let's go to coin market cap. Let's open up Miria here. Let's see the market cap it sits at today, 36 million. What's a similar coin to this? Gala. Gala today sits at 640 million. That right there, still in the start of a bull market, if not still in a bear market, is around like a 15, 16x now. That's before a huge move. Guys, do you understand how big these moves could actually be? It's absolutely insane. Look at Gala's market cap in the bull run, right? It was 5.26 billion. That is another 10x from where it sits today. So if Gala in a bear market, right, is 15x bigger than Miria, 15x, and Gala is 10x lower than it used to be in a bull market, meaning if Miria pulls off the same thing as Gala, that is a 150x, all right? 
These are the kinds of possibilities we have in this market. Now, Heading back over to Twitter, another project that he talks about is Sidus. I met these guys in person. I spoke about these guys. They are in the portfolio that we're building here on the channel and they have done very well. And what connects this to Alex Becker? We have here on Arkham, arkhamintelligence.com, a way to track people's portfolios. I, however, think that this is not his current portfolio that he uses a lot because it only has $30,000 in it. I would expect there to be millions. But what we can see here is this was the wallet Alex Becker was using in the last bull market. We can see that he played this pretty much perfectly. Buying, buying, buying and selling in the top region in late 2021. Absolutely insane. Played it perfectly. And these are the kind of guys that you want to be at least having an interest in paying attention to. So come over to Arkham Intelligence, not a with them, but you can see what he is playing at. Now, recently, he actually added Sidus back to this portfolio. Could be big. Sidus recently has moved. Let's check Sidus. Sidus here. Boom. Today up 16%. $38 million market cap. What was it at? Before in the bull run, it hit a high of 97 million. So right now, it's only about maybe a 2x, a little bit more than its all-time high. But what do we have? We have a game like Alluvium, right? So 40 million right now. Alluvium currently sits at just under a $400 million market cap. 10x larger than where Sidus sits. Is it the same? No. Can they reach the same market cap? I have no idea. Is it a potential? Yes. We've seen crazier things happen in this market. Now, Alluvium's market cap before the game even came out, which it still isn't out as we speak, it's still not out, sat at a $1.1 billion market cap in and around 3x from where it sits today. In total, if Sidus hit Alluvium's all-time high market cap, it would be around a 30x $1,000 into $30,000. Same with the last one we just spoke about with Miria. If you put $1,000 into Miria today and it did all the things that we've been speaking about today. Again, guys, not financial advice. Do I know if it will do this? Absolutely not. But if it did, if it got Gala Games' all-time high market cap in a bull market, $1,000 into $150,000. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. With that all said, let's jump into the portfolio right now. This portfolio is up 96% since we started it. The biggest mover being GMEE, -E, moving lovely, right now at a $20 million market cap. It was around a six or a $7 million market cap when I added it to the portfolio live on this channel. Sitting at position number two, we have Sidus. Sidus is interesting. Sidus is a game, right? Building in this space. Alex Becker has a keen interest in this game. He will probably push this narrative to his followers. Big stuff here. That's exactly what we want to see. Right now, 83 million. So it's not a small market cap, but it has space. Seedify gets you involved in early stage gaming cryptos. What more can I say? Great opportunity there. I love working with these guys. This video right now isn't sponsored, but I do work with them and I think they're amazing. I think that's an awesome platform. Launchpads made me an incredible amount of money back in the last bull run. And I don't know if it's gonna happen again, but it seems obvious. People wanna get early stage investments, they buy launchpads. Seems obvious. People like gaming cryptos, why wouldn't they buy a gaming crypto launchpad that has actually returned an incredible amount of money, even in the bear market. Now we have this run, Champs. This was a project that just came across me. I was researching it on X and it now sits at a tiny, tiny $3.7 million market cap. It just looked interesting. It is up 158%, but you know, this could run wildly if it got eyeballs. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I have no idea but tiny, tiny market cap, by far the smallest in this portfolio. We then have Alluvium, which is another game. Of course, we just spoke about it. TVK, which was a purchase we did here on the channel, up 76%. They are now rebranding into a new layer one. They are already listed on Binance. This is huge, huge stuff. We got Ronin, which is a chain. Star Atlas, which is a game. 
Miria, which we've already been through. I currently have a node with Miria and that is generating me passive income. And again, if that does 150X, that passive income will be absolutely incredible. Next up, we have Veracity. Definitely take a look at that. We got Gala. Games for a Living Token is another token and project similar to these other guys like Gala. A lot of people on the internet were comparing Games for a Living Token when the whole Gala problem was happening. Gala has a market cap right now of 700 million or in and around that. And Games for a Living is currently 10x smaller than Gala. Maybe another opportunity there. We have Sandbox, Engine, and now three other tokens that have come to me in my research that I believe Alex Becker has his eye on because he has spoken about them in the past or has recently spoken about them. Now, these three are RMRK, which today sits at a $22 million market cap, and they help you build NFT systems of any level and complexity, and they are designed for seamless compatibility across different collections. This is a very interesting project that I would check out if I was you. We also have Rainy at $11 million market cap, very small, and Exceed Me at a $9 million market cap. Now, Exceed Me is a place where you can buy and sell skins for real money instantly. So this could be a huge thing for gamers moving into the blockchain space. And we also have Rainy Studios, which is a full service Web3 native gaming studio. So three projects there to add to your list for research, small caps that could absolutely fly. And there is my whole portfolio. I personally will be adding those three coins to this gaming portfolio, and hopefully we can make some absolutely insane games together. With that said, if you appreciated this video and this insight, please do smash that like button. That is all I ask in return. Hit the subscribe if you do want to stay up to date with all of my videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.